right, now, Dr. Baber, let's start with what causes pneumonia. Um, you are standing by a 3D image of the lungs and someone who has pneumonia. So what would you explain is happening? So when someone has pneumonia, they can get inflammation along the, the lung, um, and certainly mucus can form in our airway. So this is our main airway coming down and then going into the lungs. Um, and here you see this yellow material is really the mucus that's accumulating there, mm -hmm. making it difficult for one to breathe, and then inflammation um, around the lung. As you can see, this lung looks very different than this lung. Right. Now, when you have pneumonia, do you, I mean, does that happen in both lungs or just one, or can it happen in both? It can happen in both lungs. Frequently, one, someone will present with a pneumonia in just one portion of the lung, okay. but people can also present with what we call multilobar pneumonia. So the pneumonia is in multiple places in the lung. And Dr. Paper, who is more at risk of developing pneumonia, and how does it develop? So certainly patients with other medical issues are probably at greater risk of developing pneumonia. Patients who have a smoking history are at greater risk for developing pneumonia or underlying lung disease such as asthma or chronic bronchitis or emphysema. Um, certainly also patients who have other conditions that might suppress their immune uh, system are at greater risk for developing pneumonia. Pneumonia can be caused by a variety of different organisms, both viruses and bacteria, as well as multiple other things. But the most common type of pneumonia that we treat, I would say in the hospital is bacterial pneumonia.